Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're in the basement and let me show you what I've been doing since the start of this video. So check this out. I've removed all the paint from this panel. I put a couple of screws and I scraped this all up. Same thing on this side, I didn't film this side because this took much longer than expected. And the reason why we sanded this all the way down to the bare metal put some screws and scraped it is because we are going to be filling this whole area up to make the door flat and what we're going to be using to get that done is the total bolt fairing compound so I ordered some more a bigger can so um, we're gonna have a lot to mix but unfortunately it's not gonna be enough to do every single panel so I think I'm just gonna be doing these two as a test and maybe later on in the future doing the other four because this stuff is pretty expensive and I don't wanna pour a whole bunch of money into that and you know, just have a flat door <laughs> where we can do other stuff on this channel. The reason why I wanna make this side of the door flat is because the upstairs apartment, which you guys saw in the past videos, I really enjoy how it looks, the door 100% flat and not having this on it and especially when filming when i'm filming like this seeing those things in the back is just more things going on in the back so making it flat and then painting it white i think is going to be good for the channel and everything that's going on in my background so and then we could finally install this down here there's other ways of making this flat which is cheaper you could put a eighth inch piece of masonite or maybe um MDF but the only thing with those two things is that we are in the basement and that stuff can warp if we ever get a water backup which we will if you guys remember we did this whole basement because of the water backup that stuff is gonna get wet in the bottom and it's gonna you know damage and warp so we're gonna be using the fairing compound because that is from total boat and is made for boats so if this place ever becomes a boat we won't have an issue there but also we're going to be reviewing this vacuum here if you guys remember in the last video we did some modifications to this vacuum we added a we added a bag adapter like you see there so we're able to use bags in this vacuum but we're not only going to be using this vacuum like this we're also going to be using this adapter which i bought a long time ago when it first came out when we are sanding the door itself, we are going to be putting this right below and using this vacuum to catch all the dust and see how that vacuum bag works. Also, I almost forgot to mention, the reason why I put these screws is because I wanted something for the fairing compound to grab. So this is something mechanical that is sticking out and it's connected to the door with uh you know with threads so when we put the fairing compound if it doesn't grab good enough to the metal part it will for sure grab well to the screws it's the physical screws itself so yeah that's why i put the screws in there so now we're just gonna mix the fairing compound this is gonna be the first time i mix so much but we're gonna be mixing the fairing compound filling that whole area up and then sanding it and seeing how the vacuum performs
before I speak about this sanding that I just did, um, I was not able to use this just because it was a lot of sanding that I had to do because I made it pretty thick. So I was using the palm sander instead of this combo here, this palm sander and that. I used the electric palm sander with the vacuum and we have made it flush and it's smooth now, very smooth. But as you can see, we have some low parts. And um, as you guys saw in the last scene where I was applying it, it's very thick and hard to work with, especially with my fingers. I was doing it with this trick. Let me see. I was doing it with this trick, but it started hurting my fingers because I was putting too much force. And they have to go all the way around the thick part like so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna mix a little bit more and do a nice thin coat around to cover these low parts like you see here. But this right here feels like it doesn't exist. Like the steam here is like, feels very smooth. So we just gotta get these low parts filled. Also over here, we have a really low spot right there. We just gotta get that filled with a nice little skim coat. I'm just gonna go across like so, and that's it. So let's start mixing. Before we take this vacuum apart so you guys could see how it performed now that we have the bag, let's talk about this over here. So in the last sanding, I only showed this part on the camera because this part, uh, my back was going to cover it and you guys get it. I'm going to be sanding it. Um, this one came out perfect and nice and flat as you guys can see the way that it is. It came out really good. I love this product. <laughs> I really like in using this product. This one, um, we have a, a couple of cavities that have to be covered. And there's a bit of a divot here because I did try to pressure to see how deep that went. So I'm just going to take the spackle knife, which is this. I'm just going to do a nice tight squeeze, like a nice little film on top and then sand that off. But I'm going to be doing that off camera because you guys get the point of this. I'm going to be making them all flat like this every single one but um not on this video obviously because you guys can see that it's finishing up i'm gonna save that for maybe a tuesday video where i take the big grinder instead of the die grinder with these little blades i'll take my regular um m18 grinder and grind off all the ping on all of them and then fill it up because it looks like i do have enough because i barely went into these i guess there's a lot of this product to go around just a couple more things to fix up on that side, but it came out great. And we just got to do the rest of the door. Now, let's check out how this came out. So if you guys saw the last video, we cut into the battery compartment and I want to see if we had some spill coming up this way. And we don't. It's perfectly clean. There's no extra dust in there at all. All right, so let's close this up and let's see how the inside looks. We're doing this live, people. Okay, so we got some leaks. All right, let me see. So we have some leaks, as you can see. And it was all coming out through there, it looks, through this little corner. Hmm. There's nothing we could do about that. But the bag is holding some. Also over here, you can see where it's leaking. Let's take this off. Let me put the camera down really quick. 
So I just took the bag off, and as you can see, it's escaping from this area over here somewhat. But uh, it's really fine dust, and it it did its job. There's there's some weight in there. So there's some there's some dust in there. It's just some of it escaped. I bet that if we were to be picking up like sawdust, it wouldn't be this bad outside the box. Outside the bag, I mean. I say it's successful. Some people might say it's not because it's not tight, but hey, it held on. This is not moving. This is not going anywhere. So I take it as a win. So yeah, so we got this done, this area, the top part for the most part done. And we have an idea of how it's supposed to come out which is this side so we just got to repair that side and do the rest and we'll, like i said we're going to save that for a tuesday video and i'm happy with how this came out it's not perfect but it's a modification i did by myself and i didn't spend almost no extra money because it's only cost about 20 bucks so yeah the more i use this fairing compound from total boat the more i enjoy working with it just wish that it cured a little bit faster it is the next day as you guys can see my shirt is different i did two coats so it takes six hours for all of them to cure and get them to the point where i'm able to sand it so three hours every cure time so it is what it is but i love i love using the product so this is where i'm gonna have to close the video if you learned something new you can show me by giving me a like any comments or questions leave in the comments down below and if you're interested in seeing some work done on this husky cabinet consider subscribing because that's what we're going to be doing in the next video thanks